Hey there, this is Colton at North Island Nissan. I wanted to thank you for your inquiry on our 2013 GMC Sierra that I have behind me here. And I also wanted to make you a quick walk around video on it so you know the truck that exactly what you're looking at here. I'm gonna go all the way around it, show you the outside, and then I'm gonna run over a few features on the inside as well. If there's anything specific on the truck that you do wanna see, just let me know. I'll be happy to take some pictures for you or I can always make another video as well. It just takes a few minutes, just gotta upload it afterwards, nice and quick. Uh, but it is a nice truck, it's got those aluminum wheels on it with the running boards down below to make it nice and easy to jump into the vehicle which is great at the front seats it does have the front bench seat as well so the center console here can fold up for an extra seat if you need the extra space in it it is cloth interior i find the seats rather comfy and there's lots of features in it as well but i'll get to that when i come around to the driver's side you do have power locks and windows for the passenger side and I'll show you the back seats real quick of course this one is the crew cab so you get the full uh, rear door back there Nice seats, there's a little armrest that folds down there. This truck hasn't actually been detailed yet, so it will be a little bit cleaner when you come to pick it up if you do decide to move ahead with it. Uh, but it is very clean as is. We've seen some pretty dirty vehicles. This one's definitely on the cleaner side, which is nice. Uh, it does have the tow package down below there, of course, as well as a full-size spare as well. It does have a bed liner for the box too, so the drop-in bed liner there. all the way around. It does have those window visors up top, which is really nice to have. Then I'll hop in the driver's side here. So again, we got our power locks, windows, and then the mirror controls are up top there. It is a power driver seat with a few manual controls, so you can raise it up and down, uh, and then push it forward and back with the power switch. Uh, this one here is for the lumbar control, and that one's for the backrest there. Uh, start it up. Uh, this truck does have the remote start on it, so you can start it just from the key fob here, which is really nice to have, especially in the winter time when you're warming the vehicle up. We'll start it up. I'll get you the exact kilometers. Oh, turn the fan strength down a little bit. Uh, 64307 for the kilometers. Uh, pretty nice and simple display up there. Uh, to switch your driving information on the little computer in front, there's just a few buttons to the left-hand side here. Then you have cruise control in the steering wheel as well as a couple Bluetooth controls as well. Uh, volume controls for the radio are just in the back there. And then the radio is pretty straightforward. You got your volume knob on the left hand or the right hand side there. Sorry. Oh no, sorry. That's the tuning knob there. Uh, volume knobs in the center, and then you got your six different presets in the center there. Uh, seek and forward and reverse there. Uh, temperature controls. Now in this truck, you actually get a dual climate control, so you can set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle, which is really nice to be able to do. Uh, and then just to the left of that is your two-wheel drive, auto, and 4x4 controls. You can see there's the 4 high and the 4 low there as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice truck. Overall, it does have the uh, OnStar for your phone as well, if you're interested in hooking that up. Um, but again, if there's anything specific on this truck that you do want to see, just let me know. I'll be happy to make you another video. But I hope you enjoyed this one, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.